I don't know why I didn't think to do this setup before instead of like moving all the furniture around to go face my pin board for like every video I've done in the last four months. This is a lot easier and there's actually another video processing on my laptop over there right now. My lovely, today I'm going to be talking to you about the most anticipated summer books that I'm waiting to come out. There are actually four that I'm waiting to come out that I really want to read and there's also three that I'm waiting for for my module on medieval romances and it turns out the actual books I'm waiting to be published which I've already pre-ordered with Blackwell so they're paid for and we sent home when they actually come out but I didn't realise that we were going to be comparing medieval romances to modern romance because medieval romance means quest things like Lord of the Rings that would be count as a romance because it's a quest but romance in our terms means love so it turns out we're going to be reading some very cliche, like, mass market love stories. And the ones I'm waiting to come out are Cinderella's Secret Fling by Jessica Gilmore, which comes out on 25th of July. The Dead by Jackie Aston, which comes out on 22nd of August. And Chakra's Royal Baby Revelation by Annie West, which comes out on the 8th of August. So... These are not the books that I'm really excited to read, they're just books that are part of my course. And they look like they're books, reading all the blurbs of them, that are about billionaires and long lost babies and romantic handsome strangers. So that'll be interesting. I'm definitely more excited for the medieval side of this module. Now onto the ones I'm actually really excited to read. And the first one is Pan's Labyrinth by, and I'm going to pronounce this so wrong, Gilemo del Toro and Cornelia Funk, which comes out on the 2nd of July. This is a novelisation of the 2006 Spanish film Pan's Labyrinth, directed by Tel Toro. It is set in 1944 and it follows the story of 11 year old Ophelia in Spain who witnesses the brutal sadistic acts of her stepfather who is Captain Vidal of the Spanish troops. And during this time she falls into this magical world of Pan's Labyrinth of mythical beings. This is not to be confused with the 19... 86 film Labyrinth which is one starring David Bowie which is about a girl who goes into the labyrinth to get back her baby brother from the Goblin King played by Bowie so I got confused about which one's which because I haven't seen either of the films but the novelization is of the 2006 Spanish film and it looks to be very dark and I'm really excited for the premise of it. It is a collaboration that's been 10 years in the making between Del Toro who is the director of the original 2006 Spanish film and Cornelia Funk, who is the author of the Inkheart trilogy and one of my favourite books as a kid, which was Dragon Rider. So I'm really excited about this, especially since I ha haven't seen the original Pan's Labyrinth film, so I don't know what's going to happen, although I know it's probably right up my street with the really obscure mixture of fantasy and real life brutalities. So I'm excited about this, and this is going to be released as hardback, and I'm thinking I'm going to buy it as hardback, hopefully, when it comes out. The next release I'm really excited about is the paperback release of We Hunt the Flame by, which another name I'm going to pronounce so wrong, Hazab Faisal. This book comes out on the 8th of August and I'm really hyped up about it because I saw the blurb on a Buzzfeed list of books that are coming out this year and I put it on my Instagram story for my bookstagram that this is really exciting, I definitely want to read this. And I tagged the author in it and she interacted with me and every time I do tag to say this is the books that I want to be reading when they come out, she always interacts and always has a conversation with. So that's the first like author that I've managed to converse with like that and it's just really nice feeling so, I'm so it makes me hyped for it even more. Especially since even though it is her debut book, she has been really hyped up by people like Bloomsby Publishing and the hardback editions because the hardback release in the in America was 14th of May so that had perks like pins and already special fan art tarot cards and stuff like that so it's just really nice to be able to actually interact. This is going to be the first in her series which is going to be a duology of the Sands of Maria and it's inspired by ancient Arabia so that's a magic system and a fantasy world that I haven't actually explored much in my reading of YA books. It follows two characters, Safira and Nazir. Safira is a hunter who has to disguise herself as a man to be able to free a people from the cursed forest and Nazir is the prince of death who's sent to assassinate people who defy the sultan. 
So they're both playing roles. Sophia cannot say she's a woman because her achievements will be discredited and Nazir has to do what the Sultan tells him otherwise there'll be brutal punishments. And they are both looking for magic, Sephira to give magic back to her suffering people and Nazir because the Sultan is sent in to do so and in the meantime killed the hunter. This is a completely new Magic Land and Magic setup from what I'm used to in YA books but I'm so excited for it and I think it looks so great and I've also loved the fact that the author has been so involved in her debut novel and with interacting with people on Instagram has just made it me even more hyped to read this book so this is probably the one I'm most looking forward to. Next release is the Wiki King paperback by Holly Black which comes out on the 22nd of August. I've already read the Wiccan King. It's the second book in the Folk of Air series so the follow-up book to The Cruel Prince. I did already read it but I read it as a borrowed hardback from my friend but I have the core prints in paperback so I'm committed to collecting the series in paperback now. I can't really say much about what Witch King is about because it's a massive spoiler for the first book but we do get some really good power balances in it and it's the treachery and the trickery of fairy bargains and who gets to rule so it's a really fun book and I know I already love it so I definitely want my own copy of it. And the final book I'm really excited for is The Lost Princess by Connie Glynn which is the third of the Rosewood Chronicle books and this will be hardback on the 5th of September. As you can see I've already committed to hardback collection of these books and I'm not going to pre-order it even though I definitely know I want hardback because for the last two releases Waterstones I've had in store signed editions so I'm hoping to get signed edition of the third one as well. I have read the first one and loved it I haven't read the second one yet but the thing that I'm really excited for about the third book is that it takes place in Japan. Just a brief premise to the book we have Ellie who is the rebellious princess who forms a friendship with Lottie who then becomes her Portman who takes the place of the princess and acts to be the princess so Ellie doesn't have to and then you've also got Jamie who is the partisan which is the personal bodyguard that's been brought up to protect her and in the third book they visit the sister school of Rosewood Hall which is in Japan so I'm really excited about the change of location and I love Connie Glynn as a YouTuber and all the stuff she does with Japan on her YouTube so to see it in in her books will be really exciting. I just really really hope that Warstones has a signed hardback edition like they have with these two so I can just add to my collection although the paperback of the second book has just been released if you want to get them as paperback. Even though I love the pink the paperback release of the second book that's just come out is a beautiful mint colour and it's gorgeous so I'm very tempted very tempted to collect the paperbacks as well but that might be risky considering I've only read the first book but I can trust Connie Glynn to write well since I've loved her and admired her since like the day first days of me knowing what YouTube was. Thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.